the teacher was just like, oh, you try lor. And I was like, okay. And then from then on, I became like the singer in school. <laughs> one, of, one of the singers in school. Now, you started training, musical training at a very young age. So what age did you start? Taking teaching school, oh. piano classes and all that? <laughs> Gosh, uh, funny story. Uh, so, you know, like, like every, you know, middle class household, we uh, we had piano lessons and they were kind of forced on me as usual and I wasn't really into it. Um, I think just the, the exam system is a bit difficult for young children and I used to hide from my piano teacher. Like my, my, there's a famous story within my family where they came home one day and I was hiding behind the couch and they asked me what what was going on and I said I'm hiding from the piano teacher. And that's when I learned to stop trusting adults because they clearly sold me out very quickly after that. Um, but I was quite naughty, so I went through uh, five or something, five or so teachers because they couldn't tahan me because I was terrible. And then my parents were like, okay, fine, 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 don't need, don't need, don't need. And then later on, when I was 13, I started taking piano again because I, I wanted to, because I thought it was cool. Uh, and when I started singing, I think I was like kind of 11, 12, 13, just by accident, my like someone someone wasn't able to do the concert that we were performing for my class when I was 11 years old. So the teacher was just like, oh, you try law. And I was like, okay. And then from then on, I became like the singer in school, <laughs> one, of, one of the singers in school. So it was school and I found opportunities outside to train. My mom sent me to drama classes when I was a kid as well, because I think I was very shy. And so she sent me to speech and drama classes to kind of get me out of her shell. And so I've been taking those classes since I was seven, basically. Yeah, I've been performing since I was seven years old, a lot. So your mom has really success, succeeded in taking you out of the shelf. <laughs> yes, yep. perhaps too much. <laughs> <laughs> now you're a professional performer. So you did spend quite some time in uh, New York learning about the art of singing and performing. Now tell us about your life in New York as an Asian singer. Was it hard being uh, an Asian? Well, when I yeah, so actually I went to school in Connecticut. Uh, my time in the US was like this. I spent three years uh, in Connecticut studying at Wesleyan University. Then I spent a summer in San Jose interning for the North American Taiko Conference because I used to play Japanese drums and I was like quite serious about it. Uh, so I was doing that and then I spent my time in New York where I was sort of wandering around because I was an apprentice to a Japanese drummer for a while and I also was doing an internship at a jazz venue and I was also sort of finding my feet as a performer so it was a very exploratory time I didn't like get very far because I ran out of money and a visa before I before I could get a foot in the door but I did a few operas strangely I did a couple of operas when I was in New York and I was in rehearsal for a play when I had to come home all right <laughs> 